What's up, Locker Nuts? I am so excited today because I'm trying something new, all right? And I'm sure if you're here, you're curious. Either you know what I'm doing and you want to find out how it's done or you're just curious uh, what it is that I'm doing. You know, you don't understand it and want to know. Here's what we're doing. You, you kind of guess it from the thumbnail. That's why you're here, right? Because you want to watch it. We're going to sell a unit on Storage Treasures. We're going to put up our personal unit on Storage Treasures, the online auction site, and auction it off to the highest bidder. Now, this is all stuff that I've gotten out of storage lockers, but it is my unit, all right? It is, you could, some people would say it is staged, but basically what it is, it's a private party transaction, all right? Let me show you what I got. I'm really excited. This is a 10 by 10 unit that I just rented yesterday and uh, got it stocked up. In it, it's a lot of stuff. This is probably... As far I got a small truck bed, but this is probably four or five truck beds full of stuff. You know, not like super packed truck load or anything, but this is more than a full truck, all right? Um, probably a van load for whoever's picking it up. But I've got 40 bins back there. I've got, and all that mostly is from the $1,800 locker. I'm sure you recognize those bins. There's some good stuff in there, good clothes. Um, we've got this electric kids car right here and bought that in a unit when we're fresh out of quarantine and you see this uh, portable wardrobe over there i just pulled that out of a locker this morning i got some tools i got some wii instruments here this is from the 3100 dollar pod but anyways it's a combination of a bunch of stuff that i've gotten out of lockers recently that i've been kind of holding on to intending to go to the flea market or a garage sale with all right and we are actually going to uh my in-laws for a garage sale this weekend but i've got more stuff than i could take even if i wanted to take a full trailer load i've got more stuff than that i and this is all good stuff i take the trash to the dump i take the low end stuff to donate this is all stuff that really i think is a little bit better so i'm excited to see what happens my prediction is going to go too cheap all right i mean someone's going to get a heck of a deal it's going to go far less than what i would get for it if i went and did the work and sold it at the market that's okay this is more like a wholesale move because that's how i have to move stuff right now i'm going to have to move it in bulk in order to make the stuff go away basically but make room so i can bring in more i gotta buy more lockers i gotta feed our monday night auctions and that's really what my main focus is this stuff is all good stuff but we really only take the very best to put in our auction this stuff here i would say is kind of like medium grade so it's going to make a great purchase for someone they're going to make a lot of money and i'm not selling you like you're going to go bid on it i'm just saying i honestly feel this is good stuff and it, there's going to be some profit here but I don't know because i don't know what it's going to sell for and by the time you see this video i've already sold it so you'll see that at the end but right now let's go back to the house well right now i'm going to take photos of this and you could take a ton of photos i think it's like 30 or 40 photos i'm going to take a bunch all right to give it a really good give the buyers a good idea what's in there and show some of the better stuff like there's brand names in there new bell it's north face disney there's all kinds of and taylor there's some good stuff in there so i'm going to give a lot of photos to show the items so people start doing their research and then i'm going to go back to the house and start uploading those in setting up my first listing i'm really excited let me show you the whole process so if you're curious about doing it on your own let me kind of take you through it and uh you could do it too all right let's get started All right, guys, we're back at the house, at the nut house, and we are logged into storagetreasures.com, okay? If you're not familiar with their site, they do online auctions, and I think they're probably the biggest site. I don't know if they're necessarily the best, but they are the biggest, at least around my parts of the country. They have the most listings. So if you're not already signed up, you can click right here and go through the sign up. But for those of us that are past that, let's go straight to the help center right here. I'm only directing you here because they do have some great information on selling as a private seller. And that's where we're going to go right now. Okay, so they have some getting started, what items to sell and not to sell, private seller rules, what is a private seller. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and click on that real quick. Okay, what items to sell, because I just want to direct you to this. You should familiarize yourself with what they consider to be prohibited items. You don't want to you don't want to do something you're not supposed to do here and lose your access to sell private party. That'd be by listing, you know, putting firearms in there, uh, vehicles without the proper registration and uh, 
basically here liquidation store returns you can do that but you can't be you have to basically test all the merchandise you can't sell broken stuff they don't want you selling broken junk and that makes sense because hey when we buy it we don't want to buy broken junk so but right here prohibited items i mean it's pretty obvious right illegal items yeah you can't sell illegal items you can't sell food all right you can't sell prescription drugs medical devices alcohol hazardous materials expired products okay and so on uh trash they don't want you selling trash or damaged or broken items it's really interesting they put that and i'm happy they do stolen items no duh effective store returns oh stolen items again that that's double double important right here though exclusions that we will allow these excluded items only so basically everything in the unit has to be for sale with the exception of right here table shelving or stands you can exclude those items from the sale and for example that's what i plan to do with the with the uh, shelving unit that's in mine all right anything outside of that they need to uh, approve that customer support needs to approve it and the exclusions must be stated in caps all right, and we're going to do that soon enough, okay? But let's go back to the previous page. Stay in the know. Um, private seller prohibited facilities. You want to make sure that the facility you're going to sell at isn't on their prohibited list, okay? And here's a, the list. It's not that long, but some of these, I think, are conglomerate groups. Um, but some of them, like Extra Space Storage right here, very large. Cube Smart, very large. Uh, Store Quest. These are big, big guys, right? So... Um, I don't see public on there, but yeah, I don't see public on there, but anyways, make sure that your facility is not on here because they will not allow you to. You might be able to sneak it by them, but I don't suggest that, not at all, all right? And there's a lot of great information here, but what we're going to go to is this, how to set up a private seller account, okay? Right here, it's got the how-to. We're going to take you through that real quick by clicking right here to register, that brings you to this page here. Select an account type you want to register. Auction buyer. We're already registered as a auction buyer. What we want is the facility manager right here. Okay. We're not an auctioneer. Okay. As fun as that would be. We want to register as a facility manager. I know that sounds wrong, but that is where we go. So right here, we're going to basically fill in our stuff. Fill in all these fields here. All right, you have to put your information. Please don't put my information. And password, you're going to have to set up a secret question. How'd you hear about us? And then, of course, agree to all their terms. And I do suggest that you read the terms and the policies. All right, and then we're going to continue to step two. All right, guys, so here the next page. We are going to fill in the facility details. Now, this is where we deviate from being a legitimate facility because we're a private party. So right here, facility name. This is where you're going to put in your either one of two things, your first and last name if you're a private seller. You could also use your first initial and last name or your first name and your last initial. All right. So you could say like you could do this, you could do this, or you could do this. All right. Or if you're a business, you can put in your legitimate business name here, but it would need to be a legitimate name. And what they consider that to be is um, it has to be a business name that's registered with the state. Uh, you have to have a business license and or a permit to collect and remit sales tax in your business name and that may be requested for verification by storage treasure staff store id right here optional this is where they want you to put the name of the storage facility so let's just say for example i was going to use public storage i would put public storage phone number you would put the same that you put on the previous page i'm just putting this as a placeholder country now the street address that we put here, you would put the street address of the facility, okay? So you'd put the street address where your locker is located that you want to auction off. And then the website, if you have a business URL, you can put that in here. Um, if you want to set up a charity storage, you could do that to have the option to offer units on charity. And uh, they want to know which PMS you use. I couldn't figure out how to say pass, you know, on this or say other or whatever. So I just I just selected one. Just select one. They don't give you the option to pass on this. You have to do it. And then you hit submit. You will likely get an email from Storage Treasures to confirm your email address. So once you've gone through that whole process, now we're just going to log in like normal. And we're going to click my account. Okay. Once we're there, we're going to hit this right here, facility management. 
once we're in facility management, um, I'm blurring some of the information out here, but it would have all the information that you already entered. Okay, I just keeping this a little bit private right here, where I'm auctioning stuff off at, and uh, you know my phone number and stuff. And you don't need to know all of that for this uh, tu tutorial. But right here, instead of hit new auction, what we're gonna do is go edit. All right, let's click edit. Okay, so here's the edit facility details. All right, we're gonna go through this real quick. Again, I'm blurring stuff out. Okay, you're gonna scroll down to this area here, default auction settings. You want to put in the sales tax, man. This the county that we're located in, the, the facility is located in 9.25%. I don't know what you guys are at in your part of the country, but to me, this right here is highway robbery, all right? I mean, actually, I have another way to put this, but I wouldn't do it on video because it's not appropriate. But basically, they didn't buy us dinner first, did they, before they gave us that tax rate. It is ridiculous. California sucks, all right? California sucks in this regard. They really get you on the tax. We're getting close to 10% sales tax here absurd okay before you actually post your auction if you're putting a number in here they want you to email them the your proof of um, what do you call it a sales tax license all right you need to email that to them so they have it on file if you do not they will change this to zero meaning they will not collect sales tax all right so um, from the buyer they do recommend you put a clean deposit. You don't have to, um, but I'm going to put $100, okay, and see how it goes. Clean out time. You also got some options on that. We're going to go with 72 hours. I kind of prefer 48, but being that it's a private party and they have to coordinate with me, so that's based on my schedule as well as theirs, let's go with the extra 72. And the storage treasures does recommend that. This right here, accepted payment options, we're just going to go with cash. You know, if you're a business and you have a merchant account, you could do uh, this if you want. If you feel it especially risky, I guess you could take a personal check, but I highly, highly discourage that. All right. We're just going with cash. Okay. In this section right here, additional information. This is required. Storage Treasures requires you to put in this information right here. This is a private sale. Please contact the private seller directly to schedule an appointment to pick up the unit. Do not contact the storage facility. All right, this is very important because again, it's private party. You don't want them calling your storage facility saying, hey, I just won an auction. How do I pick it up? Nuh uh. You want to be really, really, really clear. Okay. Now, what I just pasted in below that here is optional. Storage treasures give this as optional. There's one more line here that I took out, but um, basically, it's more instructions to the buyer just to let them kind of know what to expect all right like again do not contact or disturb the storage facility management or staff all right you must meet the private seller outside the unit and then basically I'll let them in clean deposit due immediately so it's payment I guess buyer is the private seller's guest at the facility you're not per permitted to be on the property alone and uh, you will not be given a gate code all right it says right here, do not, the buyer will not unbox, unpack, or sort items at the storage facility. I kind of like that because I'm going to have to be there while they're there, so I don't want them farting around, filming YouTubes, and doing that kind of stuff, and being there for seven hours because I don't want to be there for seven hours. All right, um, you must bring a proper size truck or trailer. We'll see about that. Hopefully they do. Otherwise, they'll be coming back a couple times. I'd, I'd prefer not, but whatever. Um, yeah, you know, this like buyer and helper will use proper lifting. Just basically like, you know, don't sue me if you hurt your back because you picked up a heavy box, blah, blah, blah. All right. Buyer when helper will conduct themselves professionally, meaning don't pee in the bushes, please. I mean, that's how I take that. <laughs> buyer will not disrupt others at the storage facility. Um, do not leave behind any trash. Uh, yeah, that's a good point, right? And you must clean out the entire unit. Um, actually, I don't even really care. I don't have any trash in the unit, so if they want to leave items behind, I'll just auction off next time to somebody else. All right. Hours of operation. Um, mm, I don't think they open at 9. I mean, 8. I think they open at 9, so I'm going to do that. They close at 8 p.m., but I don't know if I'm going to be there that late, so I'm going to say 6. But you know what? I take that back. Let's do 8, because that'll open it up. Someone gets off work at 5. I can still meet them. We can load it up real quick. All right. Applies to all days. Because it does. All right. Wait. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facility features, okay? All right, none of that matters to these guys, right? Charity storage? No. 
Okay, we're going to save it. All right, guys, that is it. It brings us back to this page here. Again, with my information fuzzied out because it's none of your biz, right? So um, I've never gotten this far. So let's do this together. How about we hit new auction? Ooh, it's so exciting. Okay, it says right here, the auction defaults to the, for the facility have been copied to this page. That's the defaults that we just entered on the prior section. So that's good. It'll save us some work. Now, this is really, really important, guys. I mean, I can't even believe that Storage Treasures doesn't default to the other. This is not a lean unit. Do not put lean unit. That would suck if you put lean unit because you're misrepresenting this. Lean unit is when someone rents a unit for their own personal use and doesn't pay, and a lien is placed on it. That is not the process that happened here. We are a private party. And so that would be right here, non-lean unit, okay? Or manager special, but we are a non-lean unit. We're private party sale. Okay, so then you come down here, unit number. That's the unit number. Tamper tag, we don't use that. Uh, it is a 10 by 10, so we're going to enter the dimensions. Sales tax, booyah, right there from the last screen. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. And right here, the additional information was also pasted in. But here's where we got to start doing some work here. Unit appears to contain. All right, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I filled this out. There's a lot of stuff in my unit, and they want you to be as specific as possible, but 40-plus totes, clothing, men's and women's, tools, shoes, pots, toys, video game accessories, electronics, bedding, home decor, brune, electric kids car with no charger etc shelving is not included so there we have that very important ex exclusions all right shelving is not included i do not want to sell the shelving so anyways i hope that's going to cut it um i mean there's a there's a ton of stuff in there so um i really don't know how to uh get into it it's like where do i draw the line there's clothing a lot of it men's and women's there's a lot of other stuff too uh, actually you know what now they say it let me change this a little oh no i have toys do you have toys? You know what? There's a little bit of school supplies. Maybe I should add that. School supplies. I think there might even be some office supplies also. So school slash office supplies. All right. They want you to be as, as specific as possible. And I think it's because this is a private party sale. They don't want too much mystery. You know, are not selling mystery. You're selling items. This is inventory that you're selling. And uh, people want to know. So then you come down here to the categories. I clicked all the ones that I thought were good. This one kind of stinks right here, though. I do have a little bit of bedding, just a comforter, you know? that con It's considered bedding. There's some sheets and comforters, but I don't want to put that because there's no mattresses. There's a big difference. It, mattress will turn people off. Even if they don't see it, I don't want it in there. And then you're going to set the auction start time, which is today, and you're going to set the auction end date, which I'm putting at 9.15. That gives it less than six days from start to finish. Uh, I was preferring to do five days, but in five days, that's my live auction. I don't want this ending during my live auction because I want to pay attention. I want to record the end. I think it's going to be exciting. So I'm going to end it a little bit early in the day at 2 p.m. Hopefully that's a wise decision. We shall see. <laughs> Next step. Let's upload some photos. Well, I've never done this before. All right, upload images. So they recommend to upload 10 to 25 photos. All right. My photos are uploaded, and actually, I've got over 40 photos in here. I don't know if that's too many, but I took a lot of close-ups. I probably, in hindsight, probably should have taken some more, a little bit at a distance, less photos up close, but it is what it is. I'm not going back. I'm getting this uploaded tonight, or finished tonight. So check this out. That is, um, and, and you can drag these around to put them in a different order if you want. You can hit the star button. That will make this your featured photo, which this one is right here. You can rotate them to the sides if you want. If, they're, if their orientation's wrong, you can fix that. All right, and you can delete it if you decide you don't want that image in there. All right, so actually, this one right here doesn't really do anything. Can't see much in the boxes. So I'm probably gonna move that one back down a ways. Let's move that one down get it further back it's the least important i think i put it right here okay so all right we're gonna we're gonna send this off let's go to the preview all right well there it is you guys it looks pretty good private seller jrc and associates livermore yeah looks good looks good looks good 
Okay, got some nice info in here. Cool. All right, well, let's do it. Let's hit it. Post. And... I think it's doing it. I think it's doing it. There we go. It's live. It took a couple seconds for it to finalize, and it is live. Private seller. Looking good, looking good. All right, now I'm going to have to email in my sales tax license to Storage Treasures so they don't change that sales tax number in there. And, yeah, guys, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll see what happens. And you see right here, you can you can always go in and check this out. Visitors to this page, one. So that's me. You can see how many people have visited, and you can see how many people are bidding on it. All right, I'm excited. All right, here we are at the end. It's been kind of exciting. We're at 410 right now. The the soft close keeps activating, which means if somebody bids, I think it's in the last five minutes, the clock will reset to five minutes. So it's supposed to close at 2 o'clock, and right now it's 2.06. 420 bucks, and it keeps creeping up. Earlier today, this morning, it was at about, I think, 270. Yesterday, it was like at, uh, I think, 70. And it's been at 70 for a few days uh, it really hasn't moved very much but here we're starting to get some activity at the end of course all we need is two two bidders to see some action here yeah. all right and that's the final bid it ended at five hundred dollars winning bid so exciting so exciting all right kind of funny because when I started this whole project in my mind I was thinking I'd be happy with five hundred dollars if I could just get at least five hundred dollars I figured if I took all that stuff to the flea market and did my blowout pricing I could easily have gotten a thousand and likely a little bit more so five hundred I'd be happy with settling for half because I didn't have to do all the work of the flea market but this was not like super easy staging it arranging it reserving the locker um, all that stuff it took time it took time and a lot of attention I know the more I did it probably the better I get at it there's a lot of you know trial and error with setting things up step back no move it around but it was fun I like being challenged I like trying new things and that's what this was I didn't do another one after that so you probably know it's like my beard is longer in the beginning of this video I started this whole thing in September early September now we're in late October so I finally rolled the video out but um I haven't done another one. I probably don't plan to do another one anytime soon. I don't know. I might change my mind, but um, I basically rented that unit for just a few weeks and I let it go. So if I did it again, I'd have to rent a unit and you know get in the whole thing. So probably won't be doing one anytime soon, but I don't think it's a bad idea. I do think it's good. Um, here's a couple of considerations. Right when I was closing this one, um, it was like right at the same time that Extra Space, one of the larger storage companies, released this flood of inventory. They've been sitting on inventory since before the COVID outbreak. So basically since like February, uh, I think that was their last auction was in February. So they've had all this buildup. So when they, and then they also used to do live auctions, they moved to online. So here's what we had is this humongous tremendous amount of inventory being pushed out to storage treasures right when I was doing mine so if there was lower inventory I think I would have got a higher price but I'm happy nevertheless but the people who bought it so um, there's a little trouble coordinating with them at first just because they weren't very available and then, and then they flaked one day um, you know and sent me a message half hour before saying can't make it today can we do it tomorrow it's not really a big deal for me but I was trying to get that out so I could put an, I was planning to do another one I was trying to stage another one it didn't actually work out that way so it was all fine but very nice couple I think it was a um, lady and her mother and then a gentleman boyfriend, husband, I don't really know. They just got into the business and they came out, but they had just bought a flurry of lockers. So mine was one of, I think they said seven or eight lockers they had bought. Didn't really know what they were doing. Bought, uh, rented a big U-Haul truck, which was great because we loaded everything super fast. And uh, they were very pleased with the merchandise. They said they've been getting a lot of trash when they're going through the other ones. Lots of trips to the dump. So when they saw this one, they're very happy. They're going, the, the wife and her mother, or a girlfriend and the mother, they were going through boxes to go, oh, we're sorry, we're not helping you load. I said, you can do, let me, let him and me do all the loading. You guys just look through the boxes. I know that was fun. They were having a good time looking through these boxes because it was really good stuff. Um, most of those bins was from the $1,800 locker, great locker, and I think they were very happy, and they're going to make some money with it, and that's what, that's what makes this whole thing work. So anyways, I know this is a little bit different type of video. I hope you guys weren't too bored watching it because if you're not interested in doing this, 
I don't know how much information was useful to you, but if you are interested in doing this, hopefully I gave you a lot of really helpful info so you're not intimidated to go out and do it on your own. And I do recommend you do it if uh, if you have some stuff to move and this is a good arrangement for you. All right, keep in mind the storage treasures takes 10%. So they represent that to the buyers a deposit, but that is actually their fee. So um, $500, I brought in 10% goes to them so I actually only collect 450 in cash from them but I was also able to collect the sales tax which is um, great because then I don't have to pay the sales tax on it out of my pocket uh, they paid that to me in addition to the 450 all right so anyways uh, as a success I hope you guys enjoyed it next video we'll be back to um, probably closer to our normal stuff we'll see all right um, I do have another locker that we're going to be going through right here on this channel Stay tuned. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.